Welcome back to Recap IT. Today we are going to recap a 2013 romantic drama movie titled Blue is the Warmest Color. Adele is perplexed about her sexuality after breaking up with her boyfriend and getting drawn to a beautiful woman with a distinct haircut. But before we begin, please consider subscribing to this channel. Now without wasting any further time, let's begin shall we? Our story begins with Adele, a high school student who is grappling with her sexual identity. Her friends, on the other hand, try to hook her up with a boy named Thomas. Despite this, she has low self-esteem and believes he isn't interested in her. The next morning, when Adele runs across the street to catch the bus, she observes Thomas racing across the street as well. As a result, he takes a seat next to her and they begin talking. Thomas then discovers she enjoys music and offers to perform something for her the next time he encounters her. Adele, who is shy, agrees. Adele is on her way to meet Thomas a few days later when she notices a blue-haired girl across from her. As they pass by each other, she is taken aback. She does, however, make it to her Thomas date. The day goes off without a hitch until they go to see a movie together. Despite the fact that Thomas kisses her, she is unaffected. Adele is resting at home later that night when she experiences a wet dream about the blue-haired girl. She wakes up in the middle of it, unsure of how to feel about her sexuality because she believes she is straight, yet she is dreaming about a random female she only saw once. Adele meets with her pals at school to inform them about her date with Thomas. Her pals sense that she isn't happy and continue to bug her with inquiries. She, on the other hand, gives them no explanation before leaving to hurry to class. As a result, she meets Thomas, who is aware that something is amiss with her. But, as she kisses him, Adele cuts the conversation short to avoid any questions. Valentine, and tells him that she feels broken because she didn't feel anything from the intercourse. After a few hours, she chooses to end her relationship with Thomas in order to stop deceiving him. Thomas appears cool and collected till she returns home, despite her heartbreak. She starts weeping herself to sleep after that. Later that week, after class, Adele meets up with a friend, who Adele sees is staring at a female passing by. As a result, she begins to flirt with Adele, who is terrified. She kisses her after that, leaving Adele even more perplexed about her sexuality. Adele decides to follow her pal into the bathroom the next day at school so she can kiss her again. Her friend, on the other hand, is taken aback by her sudden clinginess and assures her that it was a one-time occurrence that will never happen again. Adele walks out of school, hurt, past her classmates who are shouting for her. Later that night, Adele goes to a homosexual bar with Valentine. However, she spots the blue-haired girl strolling outside with her companions while she is there. So she starts chasing them right away and ends up in a gay bar. Finally, she notices the girl from her table staring at her. She appears to come up to the bar and strike up a conversation with Adele. She can tell Adele is a straight girl who is curious about her sexuality since she is perceptive. She goes on to say her name is Emma. She discovers she is a college student. Emma's pals, on the other hand, interrupt their talk. As a result, Emma must leave Adele to look after her friends. After that, Adele exits the pub. The next morning, Adele is astonished to discover Emma waiting for her outside her school, as she wishes to continue their earlier talk. Emma, on the other hand, spends the entire day with Adele, creating a portrait of her. Emma regrettably informs Adele that she must depart to meet her girlfriend. She does, however, take Adele's phone number since she wants to meet her again. Despite this, Adele does not express her dissatisfaction with Emma's abduction. She and Emma converse on the phone as soon as she gets home. Adele's friends treat her differently at school now that they know she's hanging out with Emma. Despite the fact that they are perplexed by her sudden friendship with Emma, one girl becomes homophobic toward Adele and expresses her displeasure at the circumstance, believing Adele is a lesbian like Emma. Adele, enraged, begins punching her because she is tired of the allegations. Valentine, on the other hand, breaks up the quarrel and takes Adele away. Emma and Adele go to the park together for a picnic a few days later. Then Adele asks her to tell her about her first kiss with a girl. Adele is mesmerized by Emma's attractiveness throughout the day, so she chooses to kiss her. As a result, things between them heat up, and they return to Adele's place to have sex. Fortunately, Adele isn't faking it since she is drawn to her. Adele and Emma get closer after their sexual meeting a few days later. As a result, Emma invites Adele to meet her parents at her home. Emma's parents fall in love with Adele while eating dinner. Her parents appear to be accepting of their daughter's lesbian identity, as they are aware of her relationship with Adele. A week later, Adele is surprised with an 18th birthday celebration with all of her friends and parents. Following that, 
Adele invites Emma over for supper with her parents. It doesn't go as planned, though, as Emma's parents continue to question her about her lover. She then finds Adele has kept her parents in the dark about their connection. She, on the other hand, does not make a big deal out of it. Adele gets a job as a preschool teacher a few months later, while Emma draws portraits of a naked Adele. She seemed to be content with the current situation. She helps Emma prepare for her art show at her house by staring in a few of the pieces herself. She, on the other hand, feels out of place among Emma's creative pals. She also detects that Emma is becoming very close to one of her pals, Lisa. Despite this, Adele does not say it to Emma later, but she does see that she is slipping away from her. The next night, Adele receives a voicemail from Emma, informing her that she will be working late with Lisa. Adele, who has been avoiding her workplace, decides to go out with her. As a result, things grow heated on the dance floor between them, culminating in Adele cheating on Emma with him. Adele's affair with her co-worker becomes more intimate as the days pass. Naturally, Emma notices Adele being dropped off at their house by a man one day. As a result, she begins to interrogate her. Emma, heartbroken, confesses to her that she is aware that she is cheating on her. Emma witnessed them kissing when he was dropping her off, despite Adele's protests. As a result, Emma shouts at her to pack her belongings and go. Adele then breaks down in tears and tells her that she did it because she was lonely. Emma, on the other hand, has already made up her mind. She must then physically evict Adele from the house because no words can explain what she has done. Adele tries to put her sadness aside a few days later in order to focus on her profession. She, on the other hand, begins to cry as soon as the students leave the classroom. She keeps herself occupied with her students throughout the months. She does, however, have nighttime dreams about Emma. She then realizes that her jealousy has ruined all she has, which causes her to become depressed. After a few months, Emma chooses to meet Adele in a cafe after she's recovered from the incident. Despite the fact that their relationship is still uneasy, they try to catch up on how their lives have progressed since they broke up. Adele is devastated to learn that Emma is now dating Lisa. Despite the fact that she is content with her, their sex lives pale in comparison to hers and Adele's. Adele kisses Emma out of desperation, and she immediately gives in, but she stops when she realizes she can't cheat on her girlfriend as Adele did. She then informs her that she forgives her for her betrayal, but that she does not want to see her again. Hurt, Adele realizes they'll never be able to reconcile. After that, the sisters share one more hug before Emma leaves Adele crying alone at the cafe. Adele chooses to visit Emma's art gallery later that week. Despite what she said in her last contact with Emma, she is the one who invites her to the viewing. After then, Adele discovers that Emma has kept her old artwork. She runs into one of Emma's old acquaintances as she's going about. He runs outside to look for her as she tries to exit the building, only to discover that she has already departed before they could chat. After then, Adele returns home, regretting that she squandered her chance with Emma. And this is where the movie ends. I hope you enjoyed it, as always until next time.